Hey rock lovers, check this out. I just received this new batch of rocks from a Facebook seller and within the batch was this one. It's some sort of agate as you can see. I was just gonna toss it in the tumbler but then I thought, no, I, I like this one. Let's do something different. Let's take it and get it on the calving machine and put a nice face polish across here. We'll leave the back completely natural. But I think if we put a beautiful polish across this, it may look really, really special. What do you think? Uh, let's get started and see how it turns out. Okay, let's begin with the 80 grit wheel. We'll stay on this wheel as long as it takes to get this face smooth. And in this case, it probably took 10 to 15 minutes. But this is how it looked after I was finished. You see it has a nice sort of rounded dome. It's smooth. Lots of little scratches, but we'll take care of those here in just a second. The next step is to go to the 220 grit wheel. This will clean up all those scratches from the 80 grit wheel and fine tune the shape. This is how it looks after the 220 grit wheel. As you can see, all those big scratches are gone and you can now make out more of the stone. So next up, we go to this 280 grit soft wheel. Now we can get rid of any faceting and clean up those earlier scratches. This is how it looks after that wheel. Now you can actually start to see just a, a hint of a shine forming. That's a good sign. Next up is the 600 grit soft wheel. Once again, clean up the previous scratches. Look at this, now we're starting to develop a little bit of a shine. So after 600 grit, you can see the reflection. The next wheel is a 1200 grit. This should really bring out the shine. So after that, look at there, we got our, we got our lights dancing again. That's what I look for, the shop lights. Everything looks good at this point. Let's move on to the next wheel. That's the 3000 grit wheel. This is where we really get a beautiful shine. And we should start to get that wet look. See what I mean? That's completely dry. That's after the 3000 grit wheel. I like the way this one's turning out, but we can do a little bit better. Let's move on to this Syrian belt. This is approximately 50,000 grit. Let's rub this for a few minutes and see what it looks like. Well, look at that. That is a very distinctive wet look. I like the way that turned out. That's, that has a mirror-like finish. You can see all kinds of reflection in there. Stuff around the shop. If you look closely, I think you can see my face at one point. <laughs> the back, of course, is not touched. The front looks really good. Let's take it inside now and take a closer look. The face polish is finished. How do you like it? I think it turned out pretty good. Nice dome on there, sort of like a giant cabochon, if you think of it like that. Good shine. I got it up to the Syrian belt. And actually, ah, I wish the lighting were better. There's some color in here around the center part. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of red, maybe a little blue in there. The banding looks great. Maybe we should get this under the microscope. What do you think? All right, check this out. Let's just zoom around here. Look at that fine banding. That's cool. I like that. Wow. See those tiny little specks in there, like a red mist. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Oh my, see all that? That's, that's nothing I did. That's in the stone, that red, those fine, fine dots. We're definitely going to have to zoom in on that, see what that's all about. In fact, let's do that right now. Okay, I found a spot to zoom in. Watch this as I get close here. It should be focused once I get all the way down here. You can see these are really, really tiny red dots inside this thing. Look at that, that sort of that crystal in those very fine bands there. Isn't that interesting? Huh, I had no idea that all this was inside this agate. Okay, that's max zoom. Okay, let's try zooming in on some of these bands right down here. See what these look like up close. Once more, you see those little tiny, tiny red dots in there. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Okay, let's try that again up here at these bands. I see more of those little red dots. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I wonder what that is. I need to study geology and really learn this stuff. We should probably take a closer look at this little crystal center. Anything interesting in here? Mm, 
not really. Just looks like a crystal pocket. Although, look, you can see some of those little tiny red bubbles in there. Oh, <laughs> cool. And then check this out. This is right where the, the banding starts, right at the corner, right at the edge. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Let me focus this a little bit better for you. Let's go this way. Go back this way. Right in there. Crazy. And here you can see some of the color that I saw with my naked eye. Now that I look at it under the microscope, I can see that it's just more of those tiny red specks. Just enough of them together in one place to make it visible to the naked eye. Well, that was pretty cool. I <laughs> hope you liked that. Thanks so much for watching this little video. Please check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.